What's up? So, original script by Nikki, heavily modified by blah blah blah. And then what you want to do is click run script. And now it's set up everything for you. So now it should look nice. Huh? It should look relatively Why nice. isn't it working? Yeah, pretty good, right? I mean, look at that. Why I mean, isn't it working? Blocks everywhere, which is, uh, you know, not ideal. I mean, I'm just going to leave it like that for now because it's like not really necessary to learn. So yeah, guys, this is how you get like a basic world in Blender. How you get your basic Minecraft. Work. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Stop there. Who? Me? Yes, you. Why? You clicked on this video for a reason, right? What video? The one you're watching right now. Yeah, so? So here's how you fix the problem. Hey guys, Skitty Crafter here, and today we blend in style. Now, sorry I haven't been uploading for a while. That is because... Well, I haven't been uploading for a while because I didn't feel like making any videos. Even though it says in the channel banner, two videos a month. Which is a complete lie, and now I need to change it. And it's not my fault, don't blame me, blame yourself. I don't know why I'm blaming you, but yeah. So today, we're going to tackle the problem that people have been asking in the importing Minecraft worlds into Blender tutorial. Because apparently people have been having problems, which I had... Is that a car in the background? I've been having a problem when I originally started. I had the same problem as you guys did, and that is... Python script fail, look in the console for now. So we go to the text editor, and then we click run script. As you see, it says it in the top right corner. Now in my tutorial, it didn't say this. And this usually happens because you import something before you run the script. For example, I imported my rig, my uh, Skellicrafter rig down here. So that's why it's caused a problem because it doesn't know whether to apply the texture to this file because see this file's already got like a bunch of textures and materials so it just messes it up one way you can do is delete all the um all your uh things you've imported or you can do it another way which is to do it manually which if you've done a lot of a lot of work before you've imported the scene you probably do not want to do it uh do not want to delete everything and do it again you want to do it manually Doing it manually takes a long time, but this like fixes your problems with the text editor because the text editor is basically doing everything that you'd have to do manually for you automatically. If you know what I mean, I don't think you know what I mean. It doesn't matter anyway. So I've enabled the thing at the bottom left corner now, so now you can see what I'm clicking. So yeah, if you didn't catch it, I pressed N and I went to shading, click textured solid. You can also change this to GLSL. And now it's got all the textures. But you see, when you render it, let me just move the camera up. So I'm just gonna, you can see in the bottom left corner. If it lets me click on the damn camera. Okay, just wait one second. My god. Oh, and the whole thing has frozen. Thank you very much, Blender, for freezing on me while I'm making a tutorial. Okay, I'm gonna just shift F. I'm gonna fly out. There's my rig. I'm gonna fly out of this area. And here it is. And I'm just gonna go right up here. So if we render this, right now it would be really, like, really bad looking. So I'm just going to change this to 20. It's going to be really... Oh, whoops. Wrong button. F12. It would be really... In fact, you wouldn't even see anything because there's no light at all. To, okay, I'm just going to put light temporarily. Factor 1 for ambient occlusion. This is what it looks like. And this is not what... You, it's blurry. There's white stuff on the grass that sounds wrong. The water is just ugly. Uh, the book is missing from that, which I've never had that problem before. You know, it's just really bad looking. So to fix that, instead of using the text editor, you're going to have to do it manually. And this means going to every single item, not every single item, every single block. Because the block's actually stored as one item. If you see here, do, 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 the whole thing moves. So you're going to have to click on the item. Let's do. Let's start off with grass, because most of you seem to be having this problem. You go to the texture tab in the properties, click on material. Now you're going to want to untick the black stuff. The black stuff is the in what's in place of the alpha texture, which is the transparent, what makes it invisible. You get disable this, click on this one, make sure this is blue selected. Like sometimes I try working on it like this and it doesn't work. That's because I have this um, selected with the blue. So make sure this is highlighted. Scroll down. You're going to want to go down all the way to texture sampling. 
disable mip map disable interpolation change it to feline now people usually change it to box or change it to area but i've had the best with feline now click minimum filter size and you can optionally turn this down but minimum filter size turns it down automatically anyway i'm just used to turning it down with this you have to click on alpha now you finished so this is the grass you scroll down and there's alpha now it should show up uh you should watch tutorials till the end otherwise you might do mistakes so yeah now the grass is showing and now you just have to do it for every single other block so there's this block click on it it's lagging you click this feed line uh map, map interpolation minimum filter size you don't have to do alpha because these blocks do not have any transparent only these ones you have to actually do interpolation mip map change the feline minimum filter size for water it's the exact same thing as grass so go to the top disable the black textures disable mip map disable interpolation go to feline turn feline off go all the way down and turn on alpha so let's see what it looks like now it's getting better right it's getting much better so now you're just gonna want to do it to every single block here and you finish ta da it's gonna look exactly like it did when we used the text editor except it's gonna be done manually now you could use this for any scene right you don't have to only use it for this scene so this is just a manual fix for if the text editor did not work and you did not want to delete any of your imported files okay guys anyway i'm skelly crafter don't forget to comment like subscribe check out my other channel skelly crafter and yeah stay tuned for another tutorials thanks for watching